This video installation is inspired by the form of an analog clock. 60 screens representing seconds are in the inside circle and the other 60 screens representing minutes are in the outside circle. 1 to 3 screens represent hours which are in the center. The patch you see is the original Max Jitter patch I created to manipulate this work. This is the refined patch. It has much better efficiency and makes it possible to show this work as a prototype on any single monitor in any size. It is the first view of this work. The videos are shown as a clock operating and start from the first screens representing seconds and minutes of both circles. On the screens representing seconds, the video plays for one second then plays the next second of footage on the adjacent screen and continues around the screens completing a full minute. After that minute, the second screen of minutes begins to play the video with the last frame remaining on the previous screen like a still image. The remaining frames become a traced circle step by step, and you can see the complete cycle of this work every 59 minutes for 60 seconds. All the frames on the screens of minutes will be cleared every hour and the same process will repeat. This is the first topic, day. The videos show the variations of shadow and light. There are six topics in flow. Step by step, they represent and explore the relationships between time and life. This is the second topic, night. The images of a candle burning and snuffing repeat every second. In the inner circle, a series of candles light automatically every minute. At the same time, the image of a burning but not dwindling candle is presented in the center screen for an hour. It's my two-channel video installation work, Floating Moon. It was exhibited in the Visual Arts Gallery last year. I used two cameras to shoot the moon in the sky and its reflections on the lake at the same time. The third topic, Full Moon, is developed from Floating Moon. Two channels in the center display the images of the full moon in the sky and on the water at the same time. These images are always displayed in the same direction to reveal similar layouts. 
the sequences of the moon rising and its simultaneously reflections on the lake are played separately on the upper half and down half circle of the minute monitors. I still have three topics to finish in the future. These are the concept images for two of them. The first topic is sea echoing. The minute screens show the shots of waves surging against the rocks and dragging the seaweed at dusk. Two channels in the center present the documentary of the fish port business. The outside channels flash images of the tanked fish fed temporarily by fishmongers or the seafood restaurant for sailing or cooking. They live with no tomorrow. Now I'm editing one short film for this topic, Fleeting. At the beginning, two goldfish are swimming in a river on the film. Later, the river fades out and the hands of a young person fade in to hold these goldfish with water. The hands get older and older with the passing of time, while the fish are not influenced and keep swimming in the hands. In the end, the elder Chris's hands fade out and the river appears again. The goldfish finally get free and disappear somewhere in the river. About the installation, I have used a single channel prototype until now. The next step is to use nine monitors to develop a small scale installation. My final goal is to take 121 monitors to build up a huge installation. I work hard to accomplish this unique piece.